In this video, we are going to see how you can fill in a bug uh, issue within uh, GitHub. So um, same place as for the announcement and other. Uh, so you select the repository that you want. So here, pay attention because most of the time uh, you're going to go within matomo-org uh, matomo, but it can happen that the bug is experienced on um, matomo tag major or somewhere else. So um, ju just for you to know that there can be some sub project and uh, be sure that you are sending it to the right one. So I click over here, new issue. And as you can see, uh, we are getting a bug report with get started. So I go over here. here. You need to fill in a title, what happened, what should happen, what uh, how this can be reproduced. And then uh, you can give um, additional uh, information. So um, this is super interesting because uh, compared to the other uh, issue, this one is very well structured and the idea of course is like when you report a bug, you need to make the life easy of the Matomo team, which is, um, let's say, giving them the more chance to reproduce the bug. Because if the bug cannot be reproduced, uh, somehow they cannot check it and let's say they cannot believe you uh, somehow. So that, that's super important. So. Um, what I'm going to show you is this, so um, this came from um, a contact, so uh, the contact sent us uh, the following information, so most of the time it looks like uh, some nodes like those, so it's, it's not structured yet for GitHub, so you just need to uh, have a prompt uh, for ChatGPT or other when you say based on this text, just I uh, would like you to create a GitHub issue with the following structure, what happened, what should happen, how can this be reproduced? So the idea is that at the end of the day, you can get exactly what you need uh, to fill in over here. So this is what I did uh, within ChatGPT. Uh, the issue that I'm seeing is that the way it's writing it is a bit different than the way we'll have introduced uh, the topic. So here it's super important on each time that you double check what uh, the AI is providing you so that if it doesn't suit uh, your needs, then uh, you can adapt it. But uh, what you should not do is that you should not just copy and paste and take for granted what the AI is uh, giving you. So here in my case, I wasn't super happy with uh, what the um, AI was providing me. I wanted to uh, finally give my own version. So uh, that's that's what I did here. So I what happened, I described when creating mistakenly the same segment in Matomo, it creates a duplicate segment. Selecting one of these duplicated segments resulted in both being highlighted in the list. So to say here, I created different uh, segments. One of them is Facebook and the other one is Facebook. So same name, same configuration. If I select one of them, I get the two of them who got selected. So to me, that's a bug. So that's the reason why um, I'm describing it. And then what should happen? So that's the solution that you suggest. Ideally, Matt should detect where duplicate segment is created and provide a warning on notice. The warning could appear next to the duplicate segment in the list as general notification at the top of the UI alerting the user about the duplication. I think that would be that would be nice. Up so this is what uh, should happen and how can this be reproduced? Um, create the segment twice, select one of them. So uh, that's it. Then if you want to make the life of the Matomo team easier, you need to enter here uh, the Matomo version that you are using. So for this, you can um, you can just go over here in the admin and then uh, you can click on the link to the API in order to um, to get it. So in my case, that would be more like export and API. And if you go over here and you click on API, API get version, you should get your so 5.0.3. So let's go 5.0.3. Uh, then for the rest, if you can get them, uh, you can fill it in. So here it's more dealing with your server configuration. So uh, that's concerned in fact, uh, on-prem uh, installation. Uh, not the case over here, uh, so in my case, I'm on Firefox, okay, um, Ubuntu, okay, and that's it. Uh, so then uh, you need to uh, read the contribution guideline, follow the security policy, okay, and that's perfect, and that's it. So now you get your bug report 
which is uh, properly uh, written and sent to the Matomo team for analysis.